everybody and welcome back to another episode on the QCraft server and today we're going to do a small amount of building not too much because I'm still waiting to go to the nether I need we're still carrying the same clutter we had this is our gold chest but for now we're going to put our armor in it just to get it out of the inventory I'm still waiting to go to the nether because there's so many things I need. I need comparators and things to build the farms I want to build. But we don't have them. And so we're going to make a start. So I believe this is, I should count it really rather than guessing. One, two, three, four, five to the wall. So that's one, two, three, four, five to the wall. So if I go in here. I think I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Another episode of Counting with Mad Marshman. Oh, I love having the organization. Wooden items chest. And dark wood, oak wood. I'd be right if I could see. Oak. Right. So this is our fake abandoned mine shaft. We're going to leave that wall bare. We're going to put these on the hot bar and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six there next to the mushroom. Mushrooms are great. Easy food. Throw them on the ground. Harvest them. Make food. All right, there could be spawnages up there. Not now. Right, so we said that was five, so that's getting a bit close to here. So we want to go. Ah, <sighs> gravel. We can get away with doing that one. This one, we just got to be quick on the buttons. I'm not sure. What's this? One, two. Yeah, that's a problem. I have an even spacing on the posts. How do I do this one? Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, we'll do that again. We'll do that again. We will do that again. So, what we did here was we just put three wide hole in exactly where we wanted it because we're making our own mine shaft we can put things where we want so we need to trim this up again one two three so we don't need to take that out so this is now going to be moved over here yeah, we're not going to do any big farms yet because I need comparators and I need glowstone because I want to do some tricks with light and updates for farming and I want comparators for automatic breeding, cooking. So we need glowstone and other stuff. And we're not allowed to go to the nether until we all go together. And there's a little rhyme for you. So if anyone goes to the nether without me, there will be trouble. Right, back in here. Oh, bugger. I mind that oak, so I want to do that. Have we got through the gravel yet? We have. Superb. Right, so this shouldn't be. Didn't want to do that. I'm hopeless at this. I haven't planned anything. I never do. I just. I'll say never do. I do occasionally. But I normally just wade in full steam ahead. See, on the old server, I had a lovely silk touch efficiency unbreaking pickaxe, so I just go in with that. Right, let's um, repeat. Yes. Have some consistency in our mind. So now I need to. Put that there. Alright, Dio. Just 
start chucking some torches around soon, other than just these ones. We'll leave that one there for now. Right, we'll start going up. Then we're going to go and get some bits and we're going to start building. Like I said, nothing big. This is all just preparation work for when we are going to do something big. So basically, just so you know what we're doing, it's not top secret, is we're going to be making an egg collector because I want to make a automatic breeding cooking chicken farm like I had in the other world because that means we get lots of easy food which is not a big deal because there's all sorts of ways of getting easy food but what's more important is lots of easy feathers for making arrows with because I don't yet have a skelly spawner trap anywhere so I don't think I'm going to put it in the floor like we normally do we're going to build it a little bit higher than normal oh I've got to hold shift shift jump place lovely jubbly we want a half slab of I think we'll have the stone variety I think I've already got some, but who cares? Let's just clutter the inventory up some more. That can go on there. The room is a bit dark. We'll have better lighting than that when I get going. Don't be concerned. Do we have... How much glass do we have? 26. That's sufficient. Do you have any ladders? Pre-made ladders? No, and we don't use we don't use anything but jungle wood. Jungle wood is our utility wood. Save everything else for the nice work. Right, so we are going to need to get up here probably want to take this out might as well make the room a bit more spacious cobble will do all these fancy boys using leaves and things for scaffolding because it breaks easily well I have not got that to that point yet I haven't even made a pair of shears yet I don't think I've not needed them Right, so we all know what's going in there. Eggs. To create a lot of noise and sound lag in my world. No, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. You just get a lag spike when you move to 16 blocks away. From where the noise is coming from with mob noise. So hopefully, as I poached the chickens as soon as I arrived on the server, I didn't poach all the chickens, but I'm now going to make it so everybody can have unlimited chickens, and then hopefully no one will complain. No one will say, Mad Marshman took all the chickens. I saw him do it. No, they don't complain. They're good guys. Mr. Two Feet just said, don't kill all the animals that spawn on the first day, which is obvious, but some people probably need telling. Oh yeah, look at that, we got one. Get in there. Two. You don't need many. You don't need many. Right, let's just pop upstairs. Because upstairs Right, we have an egg here. You know what you're getting. I do not want free range eggs. I want battery farm. Uh, of course I'm joking in real life. I wouldn't never like to see a battery farm. 
free range animals is much kinder but we're not in the real world this is a game and if you can reduce them to one block of space all the better right these guys are going to are going to get it as well soon because there's no need to have them they will be converted into arrows and food speaking of which we live in the high life thanks to the farm check out the sharpness 3 iron sword who cares I can't look at all this food that's what I mean mushrooms are such good food it's I know you can grow giant mushrooms and chop them down, but this is even easier. Why even bother? Just chuck them on the ground. I'm not opposed to the giant mushroom technique. Because it is good. It's a bit too labour intensive and usage of bone meal for my liking. Right, 12 more eggs. Get in, get in, don't fly away. Whoa, look at that! What happened there? That was the. Get in there, get in there. The Minecraft gods have smiled upon us on these 12 eggs. Right, that should be cool. Groovy baby. Right, and I think as I was going... Right, this is something I'm going to do. At every junction they're so cheap and with my jungle wood as Orange says Mad Marsh Man's signature jungle tree everywhere we have a junction we're going to have a crafting bench because they are so cheap right I know that all this smooth stone is a bit dull and I may pretty it up at some date these chickens and eggs have a tendency to glitch out so I just want to fill in some of the holes now that looks okay so hopefully they'll start laying eggs for us soon and I think now we should really move on to our next project now this takes up considerably more room that's one two three four five six seven eight to the center of the room one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mind you, if we go this way again, all will be cool. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging out, and I'll come back to you after that, because that's boring. Well, this is handy. Just dug through and found one of them pond things. As you can see, I've gone for the subtle light, and again, we'll probably do that throughout. Right, we're still rocking stone picks. Oh, had a load. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of a funny throat this morning. Let's have another one. Right. Uh, make your life easy. Don't go to all the trouble to build an enchanting room and then not using it. Efficiency 1. This all helps. Efficiency 1. There you go. I am precious about hanging on to levels. It's a bit better for a stone pick. Right, so I will continue to tidy this mess up. And I'll be back again. We need a shovel. We need a shovel. We don't need one very often. But we do need one. There it is. We know where this is going. Straight on the table. Level 1. Efficiency 1. Goody, goody. Smooth stone. We are having smooth stone everything at the moment. Could get changed out at a later date. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Strange. Why did I chop that out? OK. 
Okay, fair enough. That's what I did, that's what I did. Put this all back in. It's a bit of a waste. Look at that double placement. I don't know if I'm a Minecraft god or if that was a, a bit of lag. I think we all know the correct answer to that. Right. Might have to put fortune on a shovel when we get to that stage of the game. A lot of people don't think to do that, but until you get a skelly spawner, I've had fortune on a sh fortune two on a shovel before, and nearly every piece of gravel you hit turns to flint. Right, so this is probably getting quite obvious. There's our enchant our um, storage room. So that's why this doorway is not centered. That's why we're coming in on one side of the room. That's not a problem at all. So anybody who's played Minecraft knows what this is. This is a going to be a farm room because as I said if you're a regular player you will know that one block of water in the middle of a 9x9 nine nine room one block of water there will hydrate all this soil we need a little bit more but that is not a problem soil is not something we have a lot of but it is easy to come by. Soil dirt, it's called in the game. Dirt. And we may make this room three high. It doesn't need to be three high, but I'm not a big fan of this too high. Oh, like I've worked all that out. Right, is that in the middle? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Correct. Just been in there. And now I've had a complete brain warp. I need a hoe. Which we don't have one of. That's obviously not a problem. Hoe problem solved. We've got a bucket of water. I got my smooth stone. I just come running out here for something and I don't know what. Okay, back in. It's terrible that is. Terrible. Right, smooth stone up. Let's get it looking nice. Or well, nice ish. I was running on about making this three high. It doesn't need to be three high. Would look nicer if it was. We don't want to be cramped. Made a shovel. Use smooth stone. Jamo. Hi, oh, Jamo. Ah, I know exactly what I went in there for. Plants. Jacko lantern and a lily pad. That is what we went in there for originally. So we want to knock that out. We may as well have a free light source in the middle of the room. <laughs> and um, that light source will have to be removed when I make this automatic because this will be based on a lighting update. And all the lights will need to be in the ceiling, not on the floor. These lights need to be... Hello, iron. Ah, oh, more iron. Making me ruin my wall. Why make me ruin my wall? It's more smooth stone I've got to cook. Only joking. Right, I'll put that up there and probably dig it out three seconds later when I decide I want the room three tall. Right, so as we were doing, we were sorting out the lighting situation a little bit better. Two from the side, two from the side. 
One, two, two from the side. This one's going to be different because it's there. Didn't enchant the hoe. Didn't feel that was really necessary. Oh, ugly cobblestone around the edges. Never mind, you won't be able to see that when the crops are in. So the main crop in here is going to be potatoes, really. Really easy food, again. Quite easy food. Cows, I'm not really, you know, beef is a really good food. Obviously the best one in Minecraft, apart from the golden carrot. Golden carrot only restores three hearts, but has a ridiculously insane amount of saturation. You don't get hungry for ages. But potatoes are easy, they look after themselves. Cows I'm more interested in for enchant and table. That's all I really want cows for. How are we getting on? No eggs. Oh, because they're just only growing up, aren't they? I was expecting a bit much there. Right. So we have... That's the egg box. We have uh, two potatoes. Look at this. This is massive. Right, we're going to grow some more carrots. Well, I'm not a huge fan of carrots, but we might as well put something in the ground. While we've broken the ground. Alright, that'll be tidied back up to another bit of smooth stone next time you see it. So, right, I'm going to eat first, because trying to plant food when you're hungry is a nightmare. Because your character will try to eat the food rather than plant it. Right, there probably won't be any carrots in here once I've got enough too dark. Yeah, you are too dark. I've got to light a wall up. Alright. I lost melon seeds like that. When abandoned mine shafts first came into the game, I had to visit three mine shafts before I found any melon seeds. And then I planted them into an area that was too dark. And as I wasn't there to see that, they despawned. Deep joy, why aren't you hydrating? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Ah, I did start to go three high, and then probably got bored. Fortune pick. Lovely. Fortune. I would leave these ores in the ceilings and in the walls to make it look more like an authentic mine shaft, but I know what this lot are like I play with. They'll probably come along and go, oh look, a mine shaft. Oh look, some redstone. I'll have that. Oh. I didn't realise that potato and carrot farms and chicken farms naturally generated in Minecraft now. <laughs> no, they're not that bad, really. I'm trolling you. So I'm going to take this ceiling out, because I, I don't like it. And then I'm going to come back to you. Ceiling's higher now. This always feels a bit more comfortable. Tuck the lights away. They'll do until we get, until we get to the nether and get better lighting. I'll tuck the lights away in the sides there as well. And we got what little bones we got. I ain't really got any other use for them. I mean, I don't want to be bone milling giant mushrooms. I got jungle trees, and I don't need to bone mill them. They grow at a sufficient rate that there's no need. Oh, wrong button. Right click. Yeah, jungle trees. Over a hundred timber for one tree, so there's no need to. Bow meal them, you wait for one to grow and if 400 planks isn't enough for you to get on with, 800 sticks, 2400 torches, and you need to go and kill some skeletons. Right, so there's a few more carrots now, one more little job I want to do I think, and what's the best way of doing this? Do you think we should keep the server small until, say, the update? I don't know. Not thought about it. We'll give him that for now as we're recording, and I'll talk to him in a little while. I don't really have any strong views on it just yet, but... 
people start suggesting th silly things I might have. Alright, so that should enable us to come up here, walk along here, get an egg which we don't have, throw it in there. Lovely. I like that. Right, so thanks for watching. This is Mad Marshman signing out, and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.